Welcome to Rehab Now, brought to you by the Rehabilitation Institute of the Caribbean, providing medical care for function and performance in association with Winchester MRI, yes. Jamaica's first choice for MR imaging, immune active DENC, a combination of key active ingredients designed to boost the body's natural defense, and Almighty Studios, Yay. a recording studio where we create worship music to praise, to worship, and to, to serve. serve. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? <laughs> uh, so today we have consultant physiatrist and rehabilitation medical doctor, Dr. Paula Dawson. And of course, I'm your girl, Alicia Taylor. Hi, Da. Hi, Alicia. Hi, listeners. So this week we're going to be talking about myofascial pain. Yes. Yeah, man. One of them big terms there. But remember, you can ask about myofascial pain by messaging us on our social media pages yes. on Instagram. It's Rehab Institute Caribbean, yes. Dr. Paula Dawson and Alicia Taylor Music. Mm -hmm. And on Facebook, it's Rehabilitation Institute of the Caribbean. Website, rehabcaribbean.com. Yes, now, Doc, am. tell us about the myo and the fascia. <laughs> Maya fascia pain. Okay, so it's a big word, but it's really simple. Have you ever had a knot in your muscle? Like, if you were... If you're driving now in traffic or if you're at home, just reach over your shoulder and feel. If you feel any tender spot, like feels like a little marble under your skin, that is a part of myofascial pain. I'm sure of them. You have not. I'm sure. Right. The thing with myofascial are so myo is muscle. Mm -hmm. Fascia is like a, a membrane <clears throat> over or within the muscle. So have you ever cut up chicken breast? Yes, I have. And you have like a thin, like a plastic film yeah, on the chicken breast. That's I, the fascia. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so the fascia, the fascia separates the different planes of the muscle because mm. you have different muscles in the body, and this you don't is want. Very clear to me because of the chicken. Thank yes. you so much. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And so, and even even the chicken legs. So you know when you go get down to the the bottom part of the mm -hmm. leg, the skinny part mm -hmm. of the leg, mm -hmm. you have the different layers of muscle. You see, yeah. like two or three, right? So it's a fascia that contains one muscle and prevent them from kind of getting mixed up with the fibers. Super cool, Super man. Super cool. And so the good thing is fascia is there to allow for organization of the, the muscle, but within the fascia that's within the muscle, sometimes the fascia gets disorganized. Mm -hmm. And so essentially in my fascial pain, so the muscle fibers are supposed to glide in and out, right, right. you know. However, whenever you have myofascial pain, the muscle fibers, they get um, entangled. And so, what does that do? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You ever get my facial pain? Eh? Yes. Tell me. Yeah, man. In my back. Mm. And it's excruciatingly painful. Yes. And it's like when you're a rubby toad. Yes. I had to get some robots, you know. Yes. From some um, physiotherapists at the Rehabilitation <laughs> Institute of the Caribbean. I mean, yes. I tell you, when them start about the pain, you know, I yes. saw my entire life yes. flash before my eyes. Yes, yes. But then afterwards? Yeah, man, I'm fine. Yes, and that's the thing with myofascial pain. We call them trigger points. Mm -hmm. Literally, that's a term for them, trigger points. So when you press them, they can trigger, they can refer pain. Into other parts of your... Yes, ma'am. That's why they call trigger you points. my legs at some point. I was like, what is this? Yes. <laughs> and the thing with, that's the thing with myofascial pain so they are within the muscle and mm -hmm. they have these trigger points and then there's something called a taut band t-a-u-t mm -hmm. which spans the length of the muscle for example you have it from the base of your skull and it goes down to your shoulder you know that muscle that mm -hmm. kind of goes yeah, that way that right and so you have these taut bands and those trigger points when they are active them hurt like crazy mm -hmm. now the thing with the trigger point is this is it so if you were to contract your muscle for a very long time, what's mm -hmm. going to happen? I feel like it's like a seize up. And what, what happens when it seize up? It hurts you. You get yeah. tired. Okay. And so what happens is in those, in those trigger points or the myofascial pain, the muscles are contracted. And so what happens? It exhausts the energy that it has. You see, you have an energy crisis. Mm. And then you have the buildup of all the you know, toxins. And essentially, it can, because it's so contracted, it can squeeze the blood vessel, and you get decreased blood flow. Mm. Ischemia in the muscle. You get these little scar tissues in the muscle. And, you know, myofascial pain. Very, very painful. So, okay. So that's how you get myofascial pain. No, that's what is myofascial okay. pain. Okay. That is myofascial pain. Great. So how you get the myofascial pain? Important question. So myofascial pain usually comes as a result of an underlying problem. Oh. Yes, miss. And so, for example... It's so like when you have a headache. Sometimes. 
You know, in a it's sense, just, it's something else that's hmm. in a sense, yeah. No, 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 not not headache, fever. Yes, ma'am. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And so, with my fascial pain, it's an underlying cause. What does that mean? All right. So, trauma. When you have trauma, you could have hit the muscle, and the muscle get these micro scar areas, and then you get the myofascial, the knotting or the contraction in the muscle. Bad. One of the most common cause of myofascial pain is poor posture. Oh. Poor posture. So see, no. the same thing that we we have whenever you know people work from home and you sit at a desk mm -hmm. and you have a lot mm -hmm. of knots in the muscle. Poor posture. Mm. So you put the muscle on a lot of pressure, and so the muscles they get weak, and so what they do to try and function, they lock up. They lock up. <laughs> How your face looks up. Because I'm just hearing you talk about my life. You're just explaining my life on this episode of Rehab Now. Yes, myofascial pain. <laughs> now, I want to clarify. So the thing with myofascial pain, you see those knots? They can go away. Okay. Can they go away on their own? Or you have to treat them? You have to treat them because mm -hmm. it's a knotted area. Now, the thing with myofascial pain is... I'm getting all excited. <laughs> <laughs> I want the myofascial pain. I cannot. The thing with myofascial pain is... All right, so... You can, there are different ways you can treat them. We'll come to the treatment. But the thing with myofascial pain is because they're always sending pain signals to the mm -hmm, brain, mm -hmm. after a while you get like a jump over. We call it upregulation. <laughs> we call it our sensitization where movement, so the fibers, your pain fibers, we call mm -hmm. nociceptors, mm -hmm. the pain fibers are supposed to pick up pain. Now, when you have pain firing to the brain for a long time, right. if I were to pinch you for a year, Mm. It creates a footprint in the brain and the mm -hmm. spinal cord. When I stop pinching you, you still feel the pain oh. because it now has a footprint. That's the thing with myofascial pain. After a while, the myofascial pain, the nerve fibers, they kind of, you get some cross-circuiting with temperature mm -hmm. fibers. So when the temperature changes, you feel pain. With emotional fibers, when you get emotionally stressed out, your muscles knot up. Oh when mechanoreceptors movement, movement, when you move, so it kind of, they call it peripheral sensitization where different things that would not normally cause pain, light touch, they call it dysesthesia, they kind of jump onto the pain fiber in the, in, the, in the spinal cord. They call it upregulation. And then you have another thing called central CNS, central nervous system sensitization. So if, I'm, if I have myofascial pain mm -hmm. and I do nothing about it, mm -hmm. It gets worse then. It certainly gets worse. And the thing with myofascial pain, and I, I'm glad you asked that question. So if you do nothing about the underlying problem, yeah. and the, my, the knots are still there, you will develop more and more knots throughout the body. And that can go into something called fibromyalgia. I was going to ask you about fibromyalgia. You're bright, you know. Thank you so much, Doc. I'm right. trying. I'm just trying. Well, what is fibromyalgia? Mm hmm me, oh, oh, me? Yeah. No, 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 no. I just wanted to know if there's a difference between myofascial pain and, and fibromyalgia. Big if difference. Say, okay. The big difference. The, the, the thing with fibromyalgia is they do have these tender spots, but they're specific. They're specific spots throughout the body, right? Mm -hmm. There's these 18 specific areas that you have to test for fibromyalgia, for mm -hmm. them to be for them to be painful, like behind the hair, behind the occiput over the clavicle by your elbow by your hips by your knees there are 18 spots throughout the body but in addition to that with fibromyalgia you get systemic issues like fatigue mm. right um, mood issues this is fibromyalgia fibromyalgia so you get MFS. other systems being affected whereas myofascial pain is usually just muscle pain mm. and with the tightening and the knots in the muscle you get decreased range of motion you get mm -hmm. tightness in the muscle mm -hmm. now if you treat the myofascial pain like you rub it out and with yeah. injection yeah. it comes back unless you fix the underlying problem like for example <sighs> if you have a chair at home that is not a good chair. You're sitting at a desk without taking breaks mm -hmm. and you're still having the underlying poor posture. You could have treat the myofascial oh pain my from now to tomorrow unless you come back. fix the underlying problem. It will come back. It will come back. It's going to come back. Yes. <laughs> it will. But you see, this, all right, so one of the most common cause of myofascial pain is a spine pathology. What do I mean by that? Your back. You know I'm a spine specialist. Mm -hmm. I love the spine. I think neck and back pain one of the easiest things to treat. I'm glad you said that. But patients don't understand. You have a role to play. You, you have a role to play. You see, if you do what you're supposed to do, you can improve. 
And what you're supposed to do is just have a have a good posture and that's it. I'll, that is one part of it. But guess mm-hmm. what? You need to strengthen. To maintain, you need to strengthen. strengthen. And you need to have the range of motion. And so, mm-hmm. you know, we at the Rehab Institute of Caribbean, we usually go through what the problem is. For example, you can have some intrinsically intrinsic problem. For example, if you have scoliosis, if you have an imbalance in your biomechanics, if mm-hmm. one leg is shorter than the other, mm-hmm. you know, all of these things can load the, the spine different and then the muscles have to overwork on one side but, okay so but what about persons who are not able to you know visit them doctor or visit the rehab institute of the caribbean mm-hmm. and they just really want to strengthen them 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 core or them area and um they really want to to make sure that they don't get myofascial pain. I love, love the fact that you, you asked that question. So the Ministry of Health, Jamaica Moves, mm-hmm. uh, and, and National Health Fund, I did a series for the NHF, uh, whereby it is called physical fitness. Mm-hmm. You have to maintain your fitness. First, you have to make sure with your doctor you don't have any contraindication for exercise, <laughs> right? And so the Ministry of Health um, and all these American Heart Association, the... the, the British Heart Association will say you need to have a regular exercise program. Okay. It used to be five days per week, mm-hmm. 30 days. Mm-hmm. Now it's seven days. Uh, I'm <laughs> five days per week, 30 minutes. But now it's seven days per week and you can do 20 minutes of moderate to intense yeah. activity. And so what does you have? Mild, moderate, intense. And moderate is where you exercise and you cannot have a proper conversation without taking a breath. So if you're exercising and you can talk on the phone, that that's is not, that's, that's mild. Not. That's not moderate <laughs> intensity. <laughs> and so you have to you have to have your exercise one. You have to make sure you stretch, good range of motion of the spine, and then you have to strengthen the spine, whether it is your spine. You know some people can have my facial pain in their calves, in them calves and too. in their in the sole in the muscles in the feet I'm going to tell you about it a little later yes, myofascial pain in the muscles in your feet well, that's scary yes but when we come back we're going to talk about the myofascial pain in your feet you can have it in your hand as and well and your hands anywhere muscles are you can have myofascial pain you can have myofascial pain we're going to pain. talk about that and we're also going to talk about treatment for myofascial pain when we come back from the break so stay with us yes ma'am Welcome back to Rehab Hello. Now. If you're just joining us, we're talking about myofascial pain. Yes, ma'am. Doc was telling us before the break that we can get myofascial pain in our feet mm-hmm. and in our hands. That's right. Like the palm of your hands. I'm scared now. You can even have it in this muscle right here, so by your the temple. No. Yes, Tell so me something. Can you have it around here, sir? Abs- that is one of the most popular spots. I to have your knew occiput. it. I knew Say it. Occiput. Occiput. The occiput. Back of your head. The Oc- base of your head. She's pointing to the Is base. it like a dot them? Is it like them feel like ball, don't it? Marble. I knew it. Right. I knew it. You know, my children f- can have it. Michael have my it. My son has them. My son too. Oh my God. Not good. So every night I have to mass- massage my oh, son. So massage it all the time? Yes, you have to. I Gently thought, though, I because you don't want to traumatize oh. the muscle. So ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about myofascial pain. My fascia- no, nothing wrong with this one. Oh, my- <laughs> myofascial pain where you have these knots in your muscles and almost everybody at some point in their life will have myofascial pain. Knots in the muscle. Absolutely. That is what I meant. Knots in knots the, in the muscles. muscles. Right. right. And so Alicia was just talking about feeling pain at the back of her mm. skull, skull. Right under the occiput, that little round prominence right there. Occipital mm. occiput. Mm. And so there's a muscle that originates there and it goes down to the shoulders and it goes down to the back. And that muscle is one of those muscles that is responsible for holding up your head. Oh. Now, when you have pain in that muscle, I've had patients with severe headache, and that muscle can actually cause headache that comes around to your crown, around to the front of your head, and actually cause pain in your temple. Yes, yes. And so I have a knot in that same muscle over my shoulder. When I press it, my son has it too. You feel pain right in is the head. Is that like referral pain? That's absolutely. Thank you. Referral pain. So myofascial pain can give you a headache. Oh. 
So if you have a lot of headaches, so 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 you my need to check. Oh my god. So my sons whenever whenever he gets like he's doing pep now. Uh, oh pep, my god. Pep, pep, pep. Uh, <laughs> grade six, as you know, you do pep, and so when you press. You know, when you have a lot of emotions, remember I told you yeah, in the last segment that like emotions, when you're anxious, then you get tight up, right? And that can cause the muscles to get tighter. And so you can actually get myofascial pain in your chewing muscles. People who masseters. chew a lot of gum in your masseters, masseter muscle. I knew it. Right, good girl. You can actually get myofascial pain oh my in God. your and chewing you muscles, feel it. the you pterygoids, can feel you it can enough. actually feel them not there. And it's painful. Jesus, very much look painful. on me. Uh, you know, singers, I think oh. a lot of singers have myofascial pain Because in you them. have to open and close right. and open and close. Yeah, oh you use those muscles. Do you have to massage them? I tell them all the time, you have to massage the muscles of your face. Not even realize. Right, right. Man. Interesting. Yeah, we've wow. got the rehab into the Caribbean. We're going to look at singers' <sighs> rehab for yeah. myofascial oh, pain. I love it! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> a little yes. bit too excited Lady about this. Alyssa Taylor is a world-renowned vocalist me. for wow, gospel wow, music. Wow, wow. Hallelujah. Oh, Doc, That's come one of her on. original songs, Woo. guys. Go to YouTube. You sound so Alyssa good. Music. You sound so Alyssa Taylor good. music. Right, and, <laughs> and so to get back, you can have, on, you know, sadly you can have myofascial pain. Those little knots anywhere in the muscle. People who do a lot of hand function, mm -hmm. you can get it between your yeah, thumb that and that sense. second that finger. Makes sense. So, in fact, if you were, don't do this while you're driving, if you were to press between your thumb mm -hmm. and this muscle, the, the, the finger right beside it in that little soft area, you press really hard, you'll find one spot that's super tender. That's a myofascial pain spot. You understand? You feel that spot? You can feel that. It's particularly, it almost feels like shock. In fact, when I press mine, so it went to my little finger. Yeah, it feels shocky. You know, it went to my little finger because actually there's a nerve that goes around there to innervate one of those muscles. Oh, feel you feel it? Finger? You feel a little finger. You're stimulating that nerve. There's a nerve that comes, a part of the ulnar nerve, it comes around. I get so excited with anatomy, guys. Yeah, the body is really It's cool. amazing, oh, isn't it? You I feel that. Believe it. Guys, Alicia pressed that little muscle and she felt pain in her little finger. Oh. Referred pain. Man. Right. And so you can get myofascial pain in your pectoralis muscle, if you're a guy, in your abdominal muscle. Right, I had a, I, I know I had a patient where there's a little knot right in the the ab muscle, mm -hmm. the transverse, mm -hmm. the rectus abdominis, rectus right? Rectus abdominis. Right. Now you can get it in your feet, especially for people who have flat feet. Pest planus, where you lose the proper um, standing mm -hmm. moiety mm -hmm. or the stand moiety or the standing um, architecture of mm -hmm. your foot, you get <laughs> flat footed moiety. The flat footed, so the muscles are now firing over time. In your feet, you have a whole heap of muscles in your feet, mm. and then the muscles going to knot. And so sometimes, if you're sitting down, lift your feel your feet under your foot bottom. You oh. might feel a little knot, and when you press it, it hurts. That's a knot. My fascial pain. So you can get my fascial pain anywhere. Uh, so how long it it get, it take you for like get rid of that pain when you rub it out? Can it just go? It can sometimes it goes out. right away. Sometimes I love that question. You know why? Because those my fascial knots can become latent. Meaning they're there but they don't hurt, oh. so they just get quiet because they're not inflamed, but oh. they can flare up back again. And they just leave them and think, oh, they're this not there. And not, then not, something not happens, hurt. your posture, and then it comes right back. And so a thing that we use, oh, it's art. So let's talk about treatment. Okay, <laughs> let's go. What we're going with the algorithm. For, in a sense, but not quite, because you can't surgical remove this. But tell me about what you did for your myofascial pain. What kind of treatment you got? Um, just really rubbing it out, you know, right. physiotherapist. Just... So that's called acupressure, myofascial release. Okay. All right. And so it never there's, it there's, painful. Yeah. It's very painful. And there's several ways. So the first thing you want to do is break down the, those knots. Okay. And you can break down them several ways. You can do most myofascial, mu hand, manual, acupressure. You, we have... At, we have into the Caribbean, we have scraping machine, you have cupping. You remember Michael Phelps and he had these little spots all over his body, those little red spots? Mm -hmm. So cupping is a technique that they use to the physical therapists. I'm not a physical therapist, but cupping is what you use to release the myofascial pain. They have some little metals they scrape. You have the, the gun, um, which is almost like a, a myofascial gun. And then you have the shockwave, which is what we have mm -hmm. at the Rehabilitation into the Caribbean. Shockwave. You sound excited about the shockwave, Doc. I'm gonna yes, talk. We're gonna we're gonna discuss the shockwave, but tell me something first. Yes. Can you can you spread the 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 myofascia 
I don't even know what I'm asking. The nut? The nut. Can can it can you like can you say you're gonna rub it out? Oh it just unlocks. Can you it spread it? Oh. It just unlocks. Literally when you're rubbing it, mm-hmm. you just feel it just melt away. Oh. It gets it literally melts away. Oh, okay. Under your hands. Oh. It will be hard and then it gets soft. And then you actually as a patient feel oh, yeah, yeah, like a yeah, gear. Yeah, yeah. So and then true, the therapist really. will say it feels better, right? And or our engineers are nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Because they know exactly what we're talking about. But the okay. thing is, if you don't fix the underlying problem... You're going to get back by FHF. It's going to yeah. come back. Those nuts are going to come back. Those nuts are going to so, come back. So tell me about the shockwave now. <laughs> All right. So shockwave. So that's so shockwave is where we use sound. It's not mm. electrical shock. So it's a gun. Medical link. We got Paula Walker and Lainsworth Walker. <laughs> so medical link sells shockwave, guys. And so what shockwave does is it... Put sound waves through the skin into the area. So you go boop, 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 boop. Sound. Sound Amazing. waves. And so what the sound wave does, remember I told you with my fascia pain, the muscles, uh, the muscle fibers are very tight. Mm-hmm. And so it's squeezing mm-hmm. the blood vessels. So the blood vessels get very tiny and you don't get blood flowing to the area. So you get scarring in the muscle. So what the shock wave does. Wait, the scarring can 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 show on the outside? No, no. Oh, okay. The scarring shows as a knot. Oh, okay. That's right, it. Right, an right, inside cool. scar for okay, want of a better cool. description. And so what the shockwave does, it creates neovascularization, new blood vessels that mm. makes the blood vessels get fat. In fact, shockwave is also used for erectile dysfunction to increase blood flow, yes, to that part of the male genitalia for erectile dysfunction. Uh, but right. we're not going to talk about that now. On mm. another show, we'll talk about that. So shockwave can be used for that. Although the research empirically is not level one placebo double-blinded control, but empirically, what does that mean? I don't know, fly over my head. But no. Just, yeah. So the research has a showed cat Categorically, that it can work, but people anecdotally, by meaning by experience, say it does work. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we're going to bring in a urologist and ask ask them what they think about the shockwave. But for now, as we talk about the myofascial pain, it increases the blood flow, and then you get the release in the scar tissue. Another thing we do is needling. We use <laughs> At least your wife is must look so. No, my man, wait, man, we want to hear this. How the needling go? Explain right. to so, me. So, pain, so, pain, pain. So, so we use some tiny acupuncture type needle. This is not acupuncture because we're not acupuncturists. Yes. Okay. We, so, but we use a needle. So we use this tiny acupuncture type needle and we enter the muscle. What that does is it interrupts the sacroplasmic reticulum. It's a, it's a part in, <laughs> it interrupts something in the muscle which releases the calcium. And it just makes the muscle relax. Flow, Let me just okay. say that. Okay, allows it. Thanks, it just, <laughs> it just makes the muscle relax. It, it's right? like it sticks up me and I must, I'm making muscle relax. Make the muscles relax, right. I like that. But then now, what what as a as a rehab physician, what I do, I don't do the dry needling. Uh, you have a lot of therapists who are training it, physical therapists who are training it. But what I do is trigger point injection where I actually use a tiny needle and we put lidocaine and a good steroid. Okay. Uh, like a... Um, tram Dink. Tram Dink. All right. Tram, uh, they do sell another type of tram alone, which is a steroid. And so we inject the muscle. Literally, when I'm injecting, I literally can hear the crunch in the muscle. I actually hear the nuts going pop, 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 pop in the needle. And sometimes it literally grabs the needle. And you can't move the needle. Okay. If you have t- t- two questions, at mm-hmm. what stage you get to the, you know, the needle, st- the needle part? It's, mm, and good then, question. And then two, before I forget, if you're injecting mm-hmm. the steroid, the steroid mm-hmm. into the muscle, mm-hmm. is it gonna be enough for the? Let's say you have myofascial pain all over your back. Right. Is it gonna? Is that one shot gonna be enough to, you know, get rid of all of those knots? Or are you gonna have to inject each knot? All right. So that's a good question. All right. So let me ask answer the la- mm-hmm. the second question first. So okay. even though you feel a whole heap of pain in your back, yeah. usually there's there are discrete knots. It's just refer the pain up and down the back. Oh. So we feel go through and we find the the, the strong man, the big one, yeah. And we go in there, we kind of break. <laughs> Once you break down the strong man, Buy everybody has <laughs> dropped down, right? <laughs> All, right? All right, that makes sense. And that then makes the good sense. thing with steroid is it it spreads. Mm, so good the steroid. lidocaine. Mm-hmm. So literally, if you have a nut, I've had patients come in the office with severe back pain, bend over, can't walk, mm. and then literally I inject them, they're able to get off the table. My God, because I use lidocaine. A lidocaine is a numbing medication. It gives you immediate relief. And, but that wears off and the pain may come back, but then the steroid will spread oh. and that will give you the lasting relief. Now, that is not going to last. You have to do therapy. All right, you have to do the physical therapy. You have to come to rehab you to the Caribbean or wherever you live, you know, you have to do some spine exercise. And so, you know, so with the myofascial release you can do, then you have the shockwave and mm-hmm. then you have the needling. 
Usually mm. for this, you do not need surgery. The myofascial pain is a muscle. Treat the underlying problem. Okay. Treat the underlying problem. Okay. Yeah. So now we know myofascial pain, <laughs> how to treat it. Treat oh. the nuts. Okay. And so, all right. So the, so the question I didn't ask before, mm-hmm. I was asking at what stage oh. we get to the, to the needle in our art. Or as you get the myofascial pain, you as a therapist will decide, or the doctor decide, um, which one is necessary. Right. Or it, or it, or it's a process. It's a process. So if it's uh, refractory, meaning if the regular things don't help. Oh, one thing I forgot. You mm. need muscle relaxant. Oh my goodness, how could I have forgotten that? So we mm. can do oral medication. Sometimes you'll need anti-inflammatory and a muscle relaxant. Mm. If the basic stuff doesn't help, like. Correct the underlying problems, massage it out, trigger point it out, shock wave it out, mm-hmm. and muscle and medication doesn't help, mm-hmm. then you can move on to the injection. Injection is usually the, the last resort. That's yes. what I wanted to know. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. So now we know about myofascia pain. Yes. And um, but one quick thing. Yes. So I know that the treatment is twofold. It's passive. Yes. And it is Active. active touch me my girl thanks doc yes, thanks. yes so the passive treatment would have be considered like the little things like ice yes and, and medication so okay active is where you actually doing some medications that we would give you the anti-inflammatory the muscle relaxant and the, the therapist you just lie down you're not doing anything and they're, they're rubbing out mm. and then the active is what you do now to strengthen the area. Okay. All that's right. the active alright good so now we know and that's it for our myofascial pain but do you have any closing thing you want to say to to, every, to our listeners Doc, about the, myofascial pain. For the myofascial pain, pain that arises mm-hmm. around the spine, spine health. Spine health is key. Mm-hmm. Um, maintain the spine, correct posture, ensure that the tight muscles in the front are stretched out and the weaker muscles in the back are strong, the rhomboids, the periscapular, meaning the muscles around the scapula. And even in the, the core, mm-hmm. maintain your core. Goodness. Make sure you stretch your muscles. Your hamstring, you can get it in your hamstring, you can get it in your quads. Just make sure you have good flexibility. Good flexibility. Mm-hmm. That's what we need. Thank yes. you so very much, listeners. Thank you, Doc. Well, Thank you to our show producers, our engineers, um, Renee, Jeff, Stacy. Thank you all so very much. Our sponsors, the Rehabilitation Institute of the Caribbean, yes. Manchester MRI, Immune Active Denk, Almighty Studios. Love you all. Love Thank you all. all. God bless. Bye.